All right, now it's time to talk about how to go live to Facebook from OBS. Well, as before, you've got your scenes and your sources set up like we've covered in previous videos. Uh, as you know, you're gonna go to your settings uh, to configure the streaming software, but first, just like in YouTube, we have to go over to Facebook to grab our stream key. So let's go find that and show you how to, where to put that in for uh, Facebook. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, pop over to the browser. I'm on my Facebook fan page already, and this works primarily on Facebook brand and fan pages. And what I'm going to do is go to the publishing tools section. That's where you need to be uh, to get your stream key. So when I go to publishing tools, uh, once that pops up, I'm gonna go over to videos on the left-hand side. And on the video side, I'm going to uh, click live instead of up upload. So when I click live, that's where it gives me my top secret stream key, which I'll have to blur all this out so you guys are not streaming on my uh, my Facebook page. But keep in mind, at least these stream keys don't last forever. They only last for seven days. And once you preview, they only last for five hours. So this will be gone anyway by the time you watch this. Uh, but anyway, now that I've got that key, before I click next, uh, I'm going to make sure I copy it, and I'm going to head over to OBS. Because in OBS, we're going to go to Settings, we're going to choose Stream, and we're going to switch to Facebook Live as far as one of the streaming services. And we're just going to go ahead and paste that key in. Now that we've pasted the key in, we'll click OK, and we'll start streaming. So now that it's streaming, we can go back to the browser, and now we can click Next. Because when we click Next, that should get the video from OBS. That's why we wait it before we click Next. Um, and at this point, this is where you can also give it a video title and your description. So, if, for example, as I did with the YouTube one, uh, intro to Photoshop, and uh, we can put whatever we want here, intro to Photoshop CC by Terry White. And they probably get that already since it's on my page. Now, at this point, that's it. I just click go live and once I go live it will bring up the comment window and it'll be ready to go with I'll actually be live streaming so this is the nice thing about both YouTube events and Facebook live when you're doing it from the events or from the um, publishing tools is that you're basically able to preview get everything ready to go and then click that go live button whenever you're ready and of course uh, as we've said before uh, you can either stop the stream, in this case on Facebook's end, but it's probably easier to stop it on the OBS side. And this time I'm going to use the stop streaming. And once I do the stop streaming, that's it. It's no longer previewing. It's no longer ready to go live. And now I can close this and discard it. So that stream key is now gone. So even if you were able to see it, um, it wouldn't do you any good because it generates a new one every time you do that. So that's actually a good thing on Facebook's part that it doesn't try and keep using the same stream key over and over again. So that does mean every time you want to go live uh, using OBS, you will need to put the stream key in uh, each time. So it doesn't, you know, because it doesn't last. Once it stream, It's a stream key per stream. Um, so that's how you configure OBS to go live on Facebook. And of course, that's for your brand and, and fan pages. Um, and it works great. Use it all the time. All right, guys. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.